Let's take apart an inexpensive fishing reel. This is an ugly stick, GX2 50 series reel. Let's just take it apart and see what's inside of it. This reel hasn't been outside much. It's been very lightly used outside and it has been in salt water. You can already see some rust and corrosion on this spindle post here. We definitely know that this is not gonna rust. It's some kind of plastic composite material. Feels pretty durable. Feels nice and rigid and solid. Composite material, cover plate composite material, spool, aluminum, shouldn't rust. Okay, I wanna take all these parts that I got out of this reel and put them in a salt water solution and see if any of them will rust or corrode. This is the spindle that was inside the handle. Let's see if this will rust. Here's the pin that held that spindle into the handle there, just like that. Just dropping the remainder of the little screws in here because if any of those were to rust out, that could cause a problem in the reel. All right, we'll come back and check our parts in a few days. Okay, it's been about a week since I put these parts in this jar of salt water here. I'm gonna go drain the water off and we'll get the parts out. Okay, I've got the water drained out. Let's check out these parts. Not too bad. Bell looks pretty good. This main drive gear here looks pretty good. Still, it's got a little crud in there, but I think that would clean up very easily. These aluminum gear parts here, knew they would not rust. Didn't expect them to rust, and they didn't. This is the pin here for the handle that went inside the reel. Even these little screws look good here. The thing that I really wanted to check would be the bearing here. This bearing looks fine. There's no signs of rust. Spins nice and free. Here's one other smaller bearing here. No rust on this bearing. Spins perfect. Spring here is in very good condition. The rest of these parts in the bottom of this jar are all in really good condition. First glance, there's a nut down there that looks like it might be a little rusty, but it's just brass. So all the other parts have held up really well. So in overall conclusion, all these parts look really well.
they stood up to being submerged in a pretty salty solution for over a week. And they look pretty good. A little tiny bit of rust, slight hazing on this rod here, but I think that'll clean up pretty easily. Just wiping it down with a towel. That may be a tiny bit of pitting on this shaft here. I'm gonna try this with some 1000 grit sandpaper and see if it's pitting or if it's just crud that's really stuck on there. Yeah, that's probably a little bit of pitting to the chrome finish on this rod here. For no more than it cost, pretty good little reel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.